The suspect in the killing of a nine-year-old during the Ewutu Ewubia festival has been remanded to police custody with a provisional charge of murder. Michael Dako died when a live ammunition fired during the purification rites accidentally hit him. Deputy Regional Commander for Central East, Odro Amenin, tells Joy News the Ofanko Magistrate Court granted their request in order to help them continue with investigations. Yeah. He's in charge murder. He was sent to open call medical court this morning and was reminded to reappear on 29th of September. So he has been now reminded in the police custody to never let complete with our investigation. That is the provisional charge. You know, when cases of this nature happen, when someone dies, it is provisional charge we gave you. Then, during the investigation, whatever will unravel, if the charge will be taken fine, if it still continues, that's all. By all means, whatever will come out from the investigation, you will bring it out for everybody to hear. For mother of the nine year old, Hannah Edu, has meanwhile revealed her son was shot dead on his birthday. She said she ordered a cake to organize a birthday party for him when the tragedy occurred. The traumatized mother has been speaking to Adum News on how she heard the news of her son's death. I was chatting with one of the guys around. Then we heard a loud noise and the sound of a gunshot. I saw one of my brothers rushing towards us. He told me my son had been shot. In fact, I started running towards the scene, but fell down. Someone tried to restrain me, but I resisted because I wanted to see my son. When I got there, my son lay on the floor with his hands in his pocket, his head turned away. Today is his birthday. I got new shoes for him, but he never wore them. He would have been nine years old today. He wanted me to buy him a necklace. I bought that one too for him, but he's yet to wear it. Two others were also injured in that incident. The district chief executive for Ewutu Senior West District, Stephen Kwame Kwei, tells Shaw News Dysek will take a decision on the future use of live ammunition. It could have happened to any of us, even the chiefs or the paramount chief, with this live bullet. So measures will be put in place. Per the advice from the Dysek, the commanders, the technical ideas that will be given, that is how we go back. So these are some of the wake-up calls that will quickly pick it, the intel, and then address it accordingly with the stakeholders, I mean the traditional authority. Well, let's go on to the phone lines. We're joined by the uh, District Chief Executive, uh, Mr. Kwame uh, Kwe. Thank you so much for your time here on Join News Prime. Uh, has MUSEC uh, taken no, a decision on this matter already? Have you taken a definite decision on this issue? Hello, Mr. Kwe. Yes, Madam. Yes, Madam. Yes, uh, thank you very much for joining us here on Joining East Prime. Uh, we know that Dysek was going to take a decision on the use of live ammunition during such festivals. Uh, you went into a meeting. want to know if a decision has already been made on this. Thank you very much for having me. Um, as I said yesterday, uh, they are still on the celebration. The celebration will end on I made it clear that from what has happened, um, the director will take a decision on it and then invite the traditional authorities, that is the traditional council, okay. and the stakeholders to look at it. Because we all know that it's a cultural um, tradition. But all that we know uh, previously, they used a uh, gunpowder thing to do that has no effect. Today, you see people with life, uh, ammunition, and other things uh, when they are performing their rituals. Mm. So we are of the view that when we meet, we really look at it. Because what happened, it could happen to any of us. Mm. 
if it was uh, accidental, it means that be it a minister, be it a pastor, be it whoever was there, will have, will have died. Mm. So we need to come on board to address those issues. Again, it shouldn't be only a Uchi senior. It should be a national issue because all these things have, these are their um, festivals. A lot of things happen. So the whole country should look at it. I want to start from a Uchi senior. When you say it shouldn't be just a, a, an issue limited to a Wutu senior uh, and that it should be a national issue, are you looking at escalating it to the level of the interior minister uh, for some national policy or directive on this? Of course. You know, BNI is uh, on the ground. The police commanders are also there. And when we are to take a decision, a hard decision, it will go to the Respect Regional Security Council as well, mm. and then it will travel to the national security. Mm -hmm. So when they realize indeed what, is, what has happened, if case is not taken or proactive measures are not taken, tomorrow it will tend to different things. Then they will look at it. So that is why I'm saying that we, the assembly, which is in the United assembly, will take decisions and then forward it to the top four um, approval. You, you mentioned that in the past they had used gun powders, uh, you know, with locally manufactured, uh, uh, you know, arms. Uh, since when did such live ammunition and, you know, when did we witness the change? Is it just this year or it's persisted for some time now? I think um, this year, even if it had not happened, because we are not there when the whole thing okay. okay. It's like... Uh, traditional authorities doing their rituals and etc. So we're not there. Mm. So until this happens, we've got to know that indeed they are using light bullets, which is which is very, very risky for us. Um, what is the security situation uh, in the town as we speak, in your district? Oh, it's relatively calm. Um, the issue wasn't a clash. It was accidental. The, the investigation. Mm. So it wasn't that class. So the security is very calm. Mm. In fact, calls were coming even this morning. The police came with their vehicle through the town with a BNI to, in fact, investigate the matter, pick intel, but there's nothing like that. It was an uh, accident. So mm. if you are Outside, you think that there was class. No, it wasn't like class. Very was well. And so they, have you been in touch with the affected family, especially the mother, uh, who said oh, she lost the son on his birthday? Immediately, I heard the news. I moved there with my assembly member, one government appointee and an elected member, and some of my colleagues, and uh, mourned with the mother at, at the place to console. Hey, so we're there yesterday. Very well. And uh, yeah. I want to thank you for your time. Uh, that's uh, Kwame Kwe, the DC for Ewutu Senior West, joining us uh, with some update on that very uh, sad story there in the district uh, which occurred during the uh, festival.